What is up and welcome to Phone Phenom. Every Tuesday, I love Phone Phenom. I love helping agents with the phone. It's one thing that is keeping you from blowing up, holding you back from being super successful in this industry. If there was one thing, it would be mastering the telephone, right? So that's one thing I feel like 92% of agents fail and a big reason why agents fail is the telephone. When you don't know how to use the telephone properly, you end up blaming a lead source, right? When you don't know how to use the telephone properly, you end up not getting appointments. When you don't get appointments, you don't get sales, you don't get sales, you don't get money, right? So one of the big things that I feel like agents need to become a master of and actually get good of and stop fearing and stop being scared of and freaking pick up a lot more, it would be the telephone, right? And so one of the things I wanna talk about today, insurance telesales is like a big thing, you know, uh, that's floating around in our industry. It's talked about a lot. It's it's something that every, you know people are interested in or whatever. And I want to talk about one of the questions we get a lot is like, okay, transfers versus like phone appointments, right? Because you can just dial leads all day doing telesales and dial you know a thousand times a week, and you can get it done, right? If you're just a hustler, a grinder, and that's wonderful, and, and most of us should be more of that, right? But if we're looking at insurance telesales, and if you look at transfers versus phone appointments, okay? I've done both. I love transfers, right? I feel like transfers is, is, is a high priority on like the, you know, what I would like to receive as a telesales agent per se. However, you've gotta be typically for telesales, you gotta be a part of a company that feeds them to you, okay? Or you've gotta be, uh, paying, you know, 55 bucks a piece to receive them. Okay. So that's tell it that that's transfers. That's where someone's on the phone. You get an opener. They're pre-qualifying for you. They're checking health insurance, making sure they're health, checking health, uh, making sure someone qualifies. They have a bank account and then they're transferring it over live to you on the phone. You're picking it up and you're taking it from there. You're reading the script and you're trying to close the deal. Okay. That's transfers. Then you've got phone appointments, which is something back when I was doing a lot of telesales over the phone, I was doing a little bit of both, but I was actually doing more phone appointments just because I like phone appointments. Biggest reason I like phone appointments is I don't have to be a part of a call center. I don't have to build my own big call center that transfers me, you know, live transfers, and I don't have to pay 55 bucks. I, if I have, if I'm plugged into a company that's like setting me phone appointments, or I've got an opener that I hire to transfer me, to set me phone appointments, right? And so I like the, I, I always did well on the phone appointment model. I would typically have, you know, 40 phone appointments for the week. I would typically, uh, I would end up typically talking to about 20 because about half would stand me up, and then I would typically convert, uh, you know, at least five to 10 deals of those 20 conversations. Typically, if I'm talking to 20 people, I'm typically converting like, you know, actually converting eight, 10 policies. Sometimes um, similar numbers or more, especially if it's like ends up being like a couple or double sales. So that's the biggest difference okay is transfers or phone appointments typically you need leads for either way right a leads b leads i know with live transfers there's a lot of companies that'll call b leads they'll do live transfers to an agent and then they'll you know charge an agent 55 bucks right where for instance something that i was asked about sunday and monday uh last two days and we've thought about doing in the past is actually setting phone appointments for agents. And if, you, if you're someone out there that's watching, tele, that's, that's big into telesales, and you want us to actually set phone appointments for you, where we call leads for you, fresh leads, we talk to them, and we put them on your calendar for you to jump on multi-state license and actually close them on the phone. If it's something you're interested in, um, something we're thinking about beta testing, email me, Cody at CodyAskins.com, okay? Because there's a couple different models of how you can be successful at telesales main reason people aren't successful at telesales is they don't have enough quality conversations, right? Because anyone, you could be the worst salesperson in the world. As long as you're having quality conversations consistently, you're going to end up making sales. And most people don't make enough sales because they don't have enough quality conversations along the way. If you can have quality conversations every day, about four to eight quality conversations every day, you're going to make sales write business, make money, but most agents are shuffling through hundreds of B leads 
or dozens of A leads to have that one good conversation every day. And that's when you don't have enough activity or you don't have enough quality conversations. And when you're looking for like A, one or two good conversations a day, you're not gonna have enough good quality conversations, four to eight a day, you know, several hours of talk time, et cetera, to actually, because the biggest call centers love, they love three hours of talk time, right, in a day. That's where most insurance agents fell when it comes to telesales. Either they're with, a, with someone that just wants them to call a bunch of leads, um, and they don't call a bunch of leads, and well, you're not gonna make any money if you don't call a bunch of leads if you're supposed to call a bunch of leads, right? And so they don't call enough, enough leads, or they, they, or they don't, you know, have a live transfer model, or they don't have someone setting phone appointments or have an opener. Like there's no, there's no like, you know, rationing responsibilities as Ramiz would say, or like, you know, handling those things to where you can end up just plugging in and, hey, my schedule's full and I know I'm going to talk to, you know, 20 to 40 people this week that are interested in talking to me about purchasing this specific product, whatever that product is, okay? So you got to start to think about yourself if you're wanting to do that model, if you're doing that model or whatever the case is, you gotta start to think about the specifics of how do you make that a reality in your business? Insurance telesales is huge. It's talked about a ton. It's only getting bigger. And I'm not saying it's actually way tougher than field sales. So if you think it's easier, like you're wrong, you know, I know 10,000 a week, $10,000 a week field sales agents that are now thinking about doing telesales or doing telesales and they're struggling. It's just part of the game, right? It's, 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 it's not as, it's not as easy to have, that many quality conversations, number one. It's not easy to build rapport. It's not as easy to fact find. It's not as easy to present, close, build value, benefits, trial close, and cool down and all those things and build trust and get bank account and social and all that over the phone, okay? So that's why I wanna kinda of bring some light to it that hey, it's, it's difficult, it ain't easy, right? But there's various models that can help you be successful and we've thought about testing out the whole phone appointment model where we generate fresh leads, we call them, and I have an opener that actually books times on your calendar, like you know, 20 to 40 a week, depending on specifics. And so we're actually tinkering with the idea of that because we get asked about telesales a lot. And so because of that, we're thinking about, which is why I want to talk through it on Phone Phenom to see if there's actually any interest of anybody that would like to like, you know, beta test that out. And we're thinking about taking on like three, four, five people to like test that out, okay? So if that's the case, email me, Cody at CodyAtkins.com. So that's the differences, transfers versus phone appointments. Both great, you know, transfers are amazing, uh, but you there's, there's you gotta be plugged into a company or a call center or pay for them and, and pay very well for them. Or, you know, you've gotta have uh, a company that you're plugged into for phone appointments or your own appointment setter or opener, um, you know, or, or you gotta buy them. Right? So there's different ways to succeed. The big thing is you want to be licensed in several states and you want to you know, continue to get better every day and have good quality conversations every single day. All right? So there's the differences in telesales versus phone appointments. Uh, Dylan, I, I know it's you know, kind of early and, and we went through this pretty quick. Um, you see anything that we want to talk through at all before we wrap this thing up? Uh, before we wrap up, I got a bunch of meetings the rest of the day, but to wrap up another amazing episode, Phone phenom. Anything? Um, you kind of answered Omar's question. He just wanted to know uh, what email to send because it sounds like he's interested in the appointment sure. setting. Sure. Yeah, service. yeah. It, yeah, it would be for telesales appoint phone appointments. Um, you gotta you know, be licensed in several states. All that. Cody at CodyAskins.com. We're thinking about testing it out, and I'm just curious if there's any interest. You know, so. And I feel like that that model would, if we did it and we helped people do it, it would be. Uh, very limited, super exclusive. We wouldn't better bring on more than like a handful of people at a time, you know, with like leads, you know, what will help. I don't know. I mean, we've, we've processed, um, let me look, we processed an absolute ton of lead orders for the month, you know, or, 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 or the year. Um, you know, I mean, we're looking at about, we're, we're probably going to process about 12,000 lead orders this year. And it may be more than that. Um, and we can't, you know, do that for that type of model where we're teeing up leads as a phone appointments for telesales people. Any other thoughts? Uh, yeah, Omar had another question. Sure, buddy. Yeah, please, please. He says, how do you overcome when the client does not trust you to let you come into their house? 
Yeah. Um, so getting away for Telesis for a second, if we're talking about like, you know, they don't trust you to get to, to allow you to come to their home. Um, you know, I mean, you could meet them in a third party location. I don't love doing that. Um, I, I mean, you, you've got to, uh, some people won't let you in their home. Uh, most will, you know, but some won't. And, and I always say the saying, some will, some won't. So what, who's next? You know, that's where quality conversations comes in with telesales. Same thing. You got to have enough, you know, people to talk to on the face to face side that you don't have to worry about those. If they won't let you see them, you know, move on to the next one. Right. But if you want to reassure them and try to get the appointment while you're on the phone with them, you know, hey, I understand I'm only going to be there a couple minutes. I just really need to drop something off the important information. You can review it on your own time. You know, I'm not there to, you know, hijack your living room for a couple hours. I just need to like stop by for a quick second. And I'm assuming that's okay. Right. Okay. So that's a, that's a, a last ditch effort. If, if you want to try to conserve that option. Anything else still? Um, Omar has another question. Hey buddy. Uh, yeah, please. Said, are you, th I'm a little unsure on exactly what he's trying to say, but you might be able to figure it are out. Are you mic'd up? Yeah. Perfect. He said, are you thinking it also be spot setter for field sales? No, it would only be for telesales, honestly. Okay. Uh, we've done some face-to-face -face stuff. Someone, you know, a third of the appointments don't show up, and then, you know, they blame the appointment setter. Uh, when in reality, it's just that's just normal. So, um, no, I don't want to do it for face the face-to-face -face model. It's just it's just logistically a nightmare. Um, I've done it in the past. I'm not saying I'll never do it again, but right now I'm definitely not. Uh, I got we got enough on our plate. We're thinking about doing it only for telesales, not for face-to-face. -face. Only for telesales. Phone appointments, telesales, someone needs to be licensed in several states, and then he'd be ready to close people over the phone, and we'll book up their calendar with phone appointments to call and close over the phone. Okay? Good to go? Yeah, we're good. All right, let's do it. Thanks for watching Phone Fiend. I'll have a great week. Appreciate you watching. If you ever have any questions, please comment below. We love questions. We're here to help. We want to help you be successful. So that's why today we talked about telesales versus phone appointments. I'm sorry, transfers versus phone appointments for insurance telesales. Thank you for watching Phone Phenom. Become a Phone Phenom.